Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Kim from Miss Kim's Children's Music. Today's vlog, we're going to go down on the farm with Miss Kim. I got to visit a very unique farm in Pennsylvania. And I got to feed a baby calf, milk a cow, hold a chick and a piglet. I fed horses. I fed sheep. I fed mules and I fed goats. I got to see a lot of wonderful things on the farm. Today we're going to learn a lot about the animals and how useful they are to our world and to our farms. So stick around. We're going to have a great time learning and a lot of wonderful footage from my wonderful trip to the farm. We're going to start off with the special and unique uses of horses on farms. Horses are used for many things. They could be used to help prepare the land for harvesting. They could be used to plow, sow, as well as hay making. They are very hardworking animals and they're wonderful creatures to have on the farm. They're used for transportation as well. Take a look at some of the beautiful horses I got to meet on the farm. Miss Kim's gonna feed a horse. I don't think I've ever done this before. <laughs> Would you like some too, buddy? Here you go. Oh, that feels, that's funny on my hands. Look at you. I wonder what your name is, buddy. You have a very big head. Why the long face? <laughs> hey, buddy. You're a beautiful horse, aren't you? Oh, yes, we'll get you some feed. Don't worry, I'll hook you up. On the farm that I visited, there were these very large horse-like creatures, but they weren't horses. I was deceived. They were mules, draft mules. The Amish love to use these draft mules because they're very wonderful and they work very hard. They have more endurance and they consume less food. So they're hardier than horses and they're very cool looking horses. Check out Miss Kim visiting with these cool draft mules. Now these mules are not to be confused with donkeys. They also had some dwarf donkeys on their farm as well. And though these are known to be stubborn animals, they're actually very smart. They're also very protective and they like to protect the sheep and the goats from predators such as coyotes and roaming dogs. So donkeys can also, if trained right, be excellent farm animals for the farm. Here is a dwarf donkey. Visited by my sidekick, Sue. I love sheep, especially lambs. They're the cutest little animals in the world. Did you know that a sheep's wool can grow forever? So sheeps on the farm are used for many purposes. They're used for their meat, for their milk, and for the fibers, which are the hairs we call wool. They're very useful on the farm. They like to graze and they are pack animals, so they love to, they're loved to be together as a group. And there's usually a sheepdog there to keep them in control and round them up as needed. Did you know a female sheep is called a ewe? A male sheep is called a ram? And a baby sheep is called a lamb. There are one billion sheep in our world. The most are in China, but it's pretty fascinating. Check out the lamb. Miss Kim got to feed on the farm.
Miss Kim also got to see a lot of goats on the farm. They are a fascinating creature. They love to eat as well. Goats are used for their milk, which then could be made into goat cheese. And men, much of this milk can be used for other products, such as goat soap, goat lotions for your hand. It's fascinating how much can be used just from goat's milk alone. They can also be used for their meat. But they are really cool animals. Their pupils are rectangular. It's fascinating. These creatures came up to Miss Kim and wanted a lot of food. They were very friendly. Check out some of the cool footage I got with the many goats on the farm. Those rectangular pupils allow a goat to see 360 degrees all around them. I found the chickens very fascinating on the farm. I got to see them roaming around. I noticed that a lot of the chickens have a rooster. And I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. Let's talk a little bit about chickens. Did you know there are more chickens in the world than there are people? That means there's probably chickens everywhere, all over the world. It was also interesting to know that the color of the egg depends on the chicken's earlobes. Red earlobe chickens lay brown eggs while white earlobe chickens lay white eggs. I didn't know that. A chicken can only lay about one egg a day. It takes about 26 hours for the egg to fully form in a chicken. That's kind of fascinating. Chickens do not need a rooster to help fertilize it. They're growing an egg anyway. However, if they want to have baby chicks, they need a rooster to help fertilize the egg to make it into a baby chick. Miss Kim got to hold a baby chick in my hand. It was so cute. But the chickens were great as well. And the rooster is there to protect the flock. You, I watched many times the rooster pushing the chi chickens along and they followed along without any problems. It protects them from predators. A rooster is very strong and powerful and can fight if there are any predators or birds coming to fly and get some of these chickens. Check out some of the cool chicken footage I got on the farm. There's our protective rooster coming our way now. to be a big chicken that gives big eggs. No? Yes? Oh, that's so cool of you. By far, Miss Kim's favorite visit was with the cows and the baby calf. I got to milk a cow. Did you know that cows that are milking or bred to milk they need to eat about 100 pounds of food a day and 30 to 50 gallons of water. Do you know that is a lot? You and I can only drink about six to eight glasses of uh, water a day, but if they're milking, they need to eat more and drink more water. If you are going to milk a cow by hand, it takes eight to 10 minutes. But if you have a milking machine, like a lot of the farms that do cow milking on a regular basis or who have cow farms, they use what's called a milking machine. It takes about five minutes and they do this two to three times a day. You know, it's kind of a better option these days since hands have germs. It decreases the bacteria that transfers from our hands to the cow's udder. That's why it's important to clean the udder when you're milking a cow. 
which is one of the steps that you need to do when you're using your hands. You must clean your hands first, then you must clean the udder, then you can begin by pulling down at the base of the udder to milk the cow, and then squeezing into a bucket. More efficient is to use the milking machines these days. Now if a farmer were to miss milking a cow, the udders will become sore and painful. So when a cow is milking, you need to milk them two to three times a day. Check out the very cool footage Miss Kim got milking a cow with her sidekick Sue doing the same thing along with the feeding the baby calf a bottle. Would you like some milk? Would you like some milk? Last but not least, I got to see pigs. And I held the piglet. That was fascinating and fun. Pigs are used for many things. We know they're used mainly for their meat, but they could also be used for other products, such as cosmetics and for medical uses. They're used for lard, for their lard, leather, glue, fertilizer, and many other uses. Also, they just love to eat everything. So if there's anything left over that can't be used, the pigs will eat it. They just absolutely love it. They also are good at grazing and tilling up the land. Check out this cool footage I got with a piglet and some of the pigs. I'm sure these are pets for these chil the children because they were going down a sliding board. Who'd have thought? All right, we're gonna call this one hmm, Snooty and this one Tootie. Tootie and Snooty. Hi, Tootie and Snooty. Apparently, our friend Sue is much better with piglets than Miss Kim. <laughs> I mean, seriously. The pig whisper. Boys and girls, I want to thank you for hanging out with me as I went down on the farm to meet all these wonderful animals. If you want to learn more about the animals and what's on a farm, make sure to stop at your local library and get a few books. It's always fun to learn new things. I'm going to leave you off with a cool video of me trying to braid a Highland cattle's hair. Didn't work out too well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.